Hi, I'm Rick Yegerman, and quick little hack with a soap dispenser. Have you ever had to fill up your soap dispenser and it's under the sink? You try to fill up in the top, you try to unscrew it from the bottom, or you just try to fill up from the top and you get under the sink and realize that the next, the next broken off, and the bottle's falling under the sink and the soap's gone all over underneath the sink. I started looking at this a little bit and thought about possible solution. Looked around online and I wanted to share something that um, I found that I think maybe will help you out if you've had this problem too. So what I did is we went out and bought these soap dispensers. I think they're pretty standard everywhere. And how they're set up is in particular look for the ones that have the, the tubes on the bottom here. And so what I did is this is virtually what we're looking at. We don't care about the tank. While I was looking at it a little bit closer, I also noticed that this is a one quarter inch on the outside, which I happen to know that tube is a quarter of an inch on the inside. So you could actually slide a piece of this hosing onto the end of this tube that goes up inside this, this pump assembly. And one thing to notice is that you can pull the tube out of the pump assembly just to make it easier while you're working on it. Make sure when you push it back in, it all the way seats all the way in place. The other half is that I wouldn't do more than 16 inches is as I've been experimenting with how much you should put of tube on this to run down to what we want to do is we want to use a big tub of soap instead of having to fill up that little thing all the time. So we cut this at 16 inches. And then on the inside of the pickup on here, we do the same thing with the hose is that I actually figured out that if you took the top that's on there and took okay a 2564 drill bit is the size you would need the 2564 drill bit and drill out the hole of that you'd be able to push the tube right to the top of that and drop it down inside the container okay and once again on the inside of the container I wouldn't do any more than 16 inches just as long as you're not not, not going any further than that the pump's going to be able to pull the soap through there okay and on top of that you want to make sure there's one very particular thing you need to make sure that you put in line on this tube, okay? And that's a one-way check valve. And the, the reason you want the one-way check valve is that as it pulls the soap from the container, being that it's longer, you don't want the soap after you're done pumping to go all the way back in the container because then you got to pump and pump and pump and bring that all the way back up to the pump again. So what happens is on this one-way check valve, this particular one and it's a one-way oil pump check valve and the reason I'm using oil pump is this is the type of the viscosity of the oil would be the same as I think the soap so I use that one and these have an arrow on them you can see which the flow of it is one direction is going to flow the other direction is not going to let it flow so as you pump this up and up into the hose it's not going to go all the way back down to the tube so that's been a problem a lot of people I've seen that have been hacking their soap dispensers they have is that if it sits for a while they got to pump and pump and pump and bring it back up to there by, so by installing this into the line up here, once you pull the soap up into the tube, tube it's not going to go all the way back into the dispenser. And what I'll do is I'll take it next and just show you my setup and how it's set up from there. Okay, so this is what I've done under here. Okay, in essence what I was showing you before, the tube goes down inside the jug here. Here's our one-way check valve, right? Inside the one quarter inch inside diameter rubber hose that we're using that's going up and what I did is I slid the end of that this hose on the end of that plastic tube that was sticking down from the pump. Alright so what I want to show you from the top view what we done okay and so here's like I said here's the the plastic tube that already came with that and all I did was slide the tubing onto that about a I want to make sure it's probably on about a half an inch three quarters of an inch or so and then once that's in place as I showed you before you don't have to worry about the prime going out, okay? You're going to get plenty of soap, and it doesn't run back down inside the tube. Any questions, please, don't hesitate to question, and hopefully this will help you out as much as it helped us out.